A handful of County Highway Department employees in the Rochester area gathered recently at the Olmsted County Public Works Service Center for a presentation and live demonstration by University of Minnesota Research Fellow Brian Davis about his team's work involving light detection and ranging, or LIDAR. So LIDAR is like radar but with light. It gives you information about what's around the sensor. Davis and his fellow researchers have outfitted a sedan with special LIDAR equipment and other technology that is capable of capturing a 360 degree 3D view of a scene in real time. We use the car as a test bed. Um, so we have a lot of different types of sensors on the car that we use for the different projects that we're working on. So right now we have a LIDAR sensor on top. Sometimes we have a, a high accuracy GPS receiver in there. We have a cellular modem. Uh, we have a handful of inertial sensors. So a lot of different stuff that we use to cater to the application. For his presentation, Davis showed the attendees some of the data his team had already collected. So we showed a handful of um, pre-collected data at a handful of intersections around Rochester and Minneapolis. And what it shows is the point cloud uh, collected by this sensor, just the raw point cloud with no post-processing done. And in that information, you can see people moving through it, cars moving through it, um, buses and light rail trains. After the presentation, Davis led a group to the parking lot for a close-up look at the technology and how it collects data and displays that data in real time. LeSueur County GIS manager Justin Luterman was among those who could envision possible applications for LiDAR. It'll, it'll be interesting to see where where this can go. I'm sure the, the private industry will, will take off with this and emergency management would, uh, or the sheriffs and ambulances would appreciate this kind of technology uh, on their vehicles um, for a situation that they might have to recreate. Um, roads uh, and traffic designers would, would be able to uh, monitor their uh, resources or pavements and, and, and traffic counts and, and things like that. Over the coming months, researchers will gather more data to develop a workshop for county personnel interested in learning more about LIDAR and how it can be applied in their transportation systems. So the next steps for this project, uh, we want to collect some data with the car at intersections and then we can use that information to fine-tune our algorithms. And what the algorithms are going to do is they're going to take that raw data and then it's going to give us useful information like the number of cars or the time a car passes through an intersection. And then that, that all feeds into the workshop that we're developing. So the workshop is going to be for uh, county GIS workers, uh, traffic engineers, and county engineers who are interested in learning about these technologies.